right, good morning everybody. Just left out of uh, Richmond Hill, Georgia from the TA, basically Savannah. Heading up to Anderson, South Carolina for our pickup and on the way up to Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. snowing up there oh boy I picked a good time to go to Pennsylvania I ain't been in Pennsylvania probably since last winter then the one time I decide to go back and it's gonna be snowing again so ah, whatever we're trying to figure out how to well I figured out how to get to this place I've been there before but not from this direction and earlier, like the, the Google Maps, it's got it at like 204 miles. Basically, we're on, we're on 16 right now. Then get off here in about 20 miles or so. Then get on to 25. Then around 520 up to 221. Then you're you're basically there. Then the old Garmin, when we left the TA, it was like. 315 miles they wanted me to go 95 what to, to uh, 26 to 85 like all the way around it's like come on so it, it finally rerouted when I started going this way but now it's at like you know it's at 228 miles I don't know, I'm thinking the Garmin may be the best bet I mean, the Google Maps may, you know, get you there a little bit earlier, but it's about, you know, 25 miles less on the Google Maps, but I think we're going to hit with the Garmin on this one. Like yesterday, I got burned from the old Garmin. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. The Google Maps burned me when I was going to my shipper, and it, <laughs> it let me, I know, I know, rookie, follow your GPS, right? That's it led me right to a fence <laughs> so luckily I was able to hit a u-turn right there the road was big enough it was it was like a big cul-de-sac so we were able to turn around should have followed the Garmin so I think I'm gonna learn from my mistake and we're gonna follow Garmin this time it says our appointments for one o'clock and uh, what do we got here oh truck bypass yeah Oh, the guy in front of me said he had to enter. <clears throat> I thought they were pulling everybody in. So yeah, we're just going to head on that way. Should be a pretty easy day today. <laughs> 
shortest train ever. Dang. Here we got about 106 miles until we get there. Still all right on time. Like I said, we're appointments at one, and so we'll be there like probably shortly after 12. So perfect. It's been all back roads the whole way when we got off 16. Just been two lane roads like this. Every once in a while we hit a four lane but still 55 miles an hour. So luckily we're not like super crunched for time. So we just kind of obey, obey the traffic laws. <laughs> it's okay for now. I kind of was wishing to get back to like 65 for just a little while. Probably not until we get out of the, until we get loaded to get back on the interstate and we head north. It makes me think about, I gotta probably check out the route. I don't even know which way we're going. That probably would help to know where I'm going. <laughs> degrees outside yeah we left this morning when we were in savannah man it was 36 it's like yeah buddy we should be uh oh what's this guy doing is he turning oh these guys are turning i've been behind this storage guy this this container guy for probably like the last 50 miles it's like talk about taking forever and this dude ain't doing over the speed limit either 55 well not right now 40 He must be a little bit heavy. It takes him a little while to get up to speed, so. Country roads. We got 104 miles, so. We'll catch up to you when we get there. Well, I thought we were gonna check in once we got there, but I mean, we've still been going for a little while. Our little deadhead mile trip here to Anderson, South Carolina. Man, this is taking, man. I mean, we're still on track to get there just a little shortly after 12. We're just, golly, man, just small town after small town. I don't know, maybe I should've just bought the, bought you know, bite the bullet and just drove all the interstate and you know, I would have been been there at the same time but I would have drove more miles, you know. Ah, I don't know. But right now we got 38 miles to her there. Man, this is taking longer than what I expected, man. I guess, I, I don't know. I just didn't put it all together. I know I said we'd be there like around 12. I just didn't think it was gonna take this long. Golly. Just feels later than what it actually is. 
coming up to our turn up here. Small towns, we drove through a lot of small towns like that one. What are we doing, people? here in this turn. This is almost a trip on its own, just the deadhead miles. We still got a pretty good haul. Get up to Pennsylvania by tomorrow afternoon, so we're gonna have to cruise. I know we'll be all right. It'll all work out in the end, so. five miles an hour is like like the top speed man these 45 and 35 and there's been a couple 25s and man that just this hurts man the tandems, all that good stuff, everything. <clears throat> all the good stuff. It's kind of on, on the end. Oh man. Take a chance. I forgot to clean the trailer. Dang it. 
Yeah, they put me on the end next to this big old KW over here. <laughs> Sliding the tandems. Tandem slid. Just gonna bump the dock and drop the trailer. So I don't really agree with that, but you know that's their rule. You know, it takes one guy to freaking pull away from the dock and someone get hurt. And, that's why you gotta do it, so. Come on, keep backing. Almost there. Almost there. Landing gear. Come on. Man, I thought about when I when I left Warner, I wasn't gonna have to be detaching from this trailer. <laughs> Golly, man. I'm doing it more than what I thought. All right. Lower the bag. Touch just enough where you still still feel them when they get in the trailer. where we're going six five five East Park Street Lock Haven PA guys we're done and take us a little rest while they get us loaded because we're gonna have to drive and burn that clock out tonight so depends how long they take to get us loaded here 684 <laughs> all right all right guys we'll talk to you guys after a while